This is Billionaire Mondays. Every Monday, we present you with another billionaire. Today, we're looking at 15 things you didn't know about Doan Chang. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello, Aluxers. Today, we're talking about the life and triumphs of one of the most celebrated fashion retailers, Doan Don Chang. As the founder of Forever 21, his brand continually impresses the world with in-style fashions. We'll share with you the passion that led him to owning one of the most successful chains of men's and women's clothing stores in the U.S. and around the world. We think you'll be interested to hear the real story behind the success. Way back in 1984, Don Chang was a little-known retailer beginning his journey when he opened his first clothing store with a big dream of becoming one of the most beloved fashion retailers. Today, Don Chang is known worldwide as the billionaire American businessman who created Forever 21, one of the most successful fashion empires. This fashion mogul owns and operates over 600 retail stores through the U.S and Europe, Canada, Korea, Japan, and the Philippines. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. With all that said, it's time now to take a closer look at this successful businessman with the 15 things you didn't know about Don Chang. Number 1. Don Chang Immigrated to Los Angeles in 1981 in 1981, Don Chang and his wife, Jin Suk, immigrated from a war-torn South Korea to Los Angeles, California. Landing in LA, the pair were penniless, had no education, and simply came in search of the American dream. At first, Don worked three jobs. He worked at a coffee shop in the morning, at a gas station in the afternoon, and later in the evenings, he picked up a job at a clothing store. He said right from the beginning, he treated the clothing store as if it were his own, and the owner loved it. Number 2. Don began his business in a 900-foot retail shop in Los Angeles, California. Growing up in South Korea, Don had worked in coffee shops his whole life, so he figured this would be the key to his success. He didn't last long, though. Don was seeing flashy Mercedes Benzes and BMWs every day, and he quickly changed his mind. He noticed almost all the people driving luxury cars were in the garment business. After a few years, Don and his wife had saved a little less than $11,000 and began their pursuit. The duo opened their first retail clothing store in 1984 as a small 900-foot retail shop in LA's Highland Park neighborhood. They called it Fashion 21. Very few people would have guessed that such an impressive businessman would have started with such a rags-to-riches story. Number 3. Don Chang Earned Over $700,000 As A First-Year Retailer after opening their first store, Don focused on buying in-style clothes straight from manufacturers and closeouts. His great business instincts led him to raking in over $700,000 in his first year of business alone, whereas every other business prior to this shop had failed miserably. As his sales took off, his clients grew beyond his own Korean-American community. He then changed his store's name to Forever 21. Number 4. Don and Jin Chang opened a new retail store every six months. After such a fashion hit, the couple started opening new retail stores every six months in shopping malls and outlets. Don says success isn't a dash race, it's a marathon. He continued opening many other stores in the U.S. and overseas that included a store in his old neighborhood, Myeongdong, Korea, where he grew up. Fashion is seen as a very competitive and rewarding business to enter, so many other fashion lines have come and gone throughout the years, but Don has seemingly found the keys to success. Number 5. Don Chang Has an Estimated Net Worth of $3 Billion the Chang family has a net worth of $3 billion as estimated by Forbes. Additionally, Don and Jin Suk Chang were ranked in the 766th position on the Forbes billionaire list in 2018. The Chang family's net worth has fluctuated considerably over the years. It has been said that much of Don's success is due to his instinctive merchandising skills and continued aggressive expansions. 
Number 6. Don appointed his wife Jin Suk as secretary and director of the Chang 21 Foundation. Don and Jin Suk have a long history of giving back. In 2014, Don appointed his wife Jin Suk as secretary and director of his charitable foundation. That same year, over $14,000 in donations had accumulated for distribution. Over the years, his wife has chosen many charitable foundations to support. Number 7. The Changs have been sued for copyright infringement by many designers, including Gwen Stefani. Along with big success comes a long list of problems. A number of lawsuits have hit the company hard over the years. Even though Forever 21 has never been found guilty in a court of law, they have been continually sued by a long list of over 50 designers that includes Anna Sui, Trovata, Diane Vaughn, and Gwen Stefani. In every case, Forever 21 presented a strong defense communicating they are simply merchants and not designers. Number 8. Don Chang chose models Anna Speckhardt and Ashley Smith to pose in Forever 21's Fall Fashion 2017 campaign. In 2017, Forever 21 debuted their yearly fall fashion campaign, featuring top models Anna Speckhardt and Ashley Smith, Camille Rowe and Mikkel Jensen. This modeling crew and campaign featured a flashback on 90s style with leather jackets, plaid and platform shoes. As one of the most recognized independent fashion retailers, Forever 21 represents many things to many people. The ability to connect with all audiences around the world gives Don Chang his leading edge, and this can always be clearly seen through his fashion shows. Number 9. Don's Daughters Joined His Forever 21 Venture in 2008 in 2008, Chang's two Ivy League-educated daughters, Linda and Esther, joined the family business. Their oldest daughter, Linda, is deeply involved with marketing aspects, and the younger daughter designs the brand's visual elements and picture window ensembles. This wonderfully talented duo of sisters brings a very family-oriented aspect to the table. Being in charge of marketing and visual elements, they created a further positive impact on the public. Forever 21 remains a family business. Don serves as the CEO, while Jin is the chief merchandising officer. Number 10. In 2017, Don Chang's fashion empire reported annual revenues of $4.4 billion. In 2017, Forbes ranked Forever 21 as 103rd among the largest privately owned American companies. Impressively, Don Chang sits along with the top tier of worldwide fashion retailers. Annual revenues for Forever 21 topped over $4.4 billion in sales in 2017 alone. Beyond this, Don Chang said he considers the success of Forever 21 not only by sales revenues, but also by the happiness of his family. He continually stresses that managing that complex relationship is his true success. Now, Alexers, to get a much closer look at the ins and outs of the fashion world, click in the top right-hand corner to watch our video, The 15 Things You Didn't Know About the Fashion Industry. Number 11. Dawn and Forever 21 hosted eight pop-up holographic fashion shows. At Forever 21, style is always newly inspired, and one of the best sources of inspiration over the years can be found at Don's Forever 21 fashion shows. As a leading apparel retailer, he hosts fashion shows with the latest trends and hottest styles in the US and international locations, giving fashion fans worldwide unforgettable experiences. He's held fashion shows in Los Angeles and Las Vegas, and he also surprised the world with a pop-up holographic fashion show in coordination with Space 150. Don absolutely wowed and delighted fans in Vienna, Austria with the first of his eight holographic fashion shows back in 2010. It featured seven minutes of holographic models wearing new Forever 21 fashions, walking across a cosmic runway and disappearing into starbursts. Number 12. Don Chang debuted his new activewear collection with Kelly Gale in 2017. 
when debuting their new activewear collection in 2017. Forever 21 hired a top Swedish-Australian model named Kelly Gale to show off their medium and high-impact designs. This fit-and-run assortment features activewear with loud prints, activewear seams, and matching sets with lightweight jackets that are easy to wear on the go. Prices in this collection include sports bras, tops and leggings, swimsuits and more that range between $10 and $50 per piece. This booty sculpting collection highlights and defines curves with flattering hues and power mesh inserts to shape and lift. This collection is perfect for dance, yoga, swim, and fitness enthusiasts. Number 13. Dawn continues to run Forever 21 as a completely private family business. Forever 21 is solely owned by the Chang family, meaning you cannot find it on the stock markets anywhere in the world. Additionally, you cannot find new Forever 21 merchandise available for sale at any other outlet stores. This private venture continually expands their connections and sales goals. Don is always working to improve and evolve their lines to fit the needs of fashion enthusiasts today by adding more beauty items, shoes, desk supplies, phone accessories, and home and party decor to their lineup. Number 14. Don's Forever 21 line launched a Honda Racing Capsule Collection out of LA. On January 23, 2018, Forever 21 announced the release of their exclusive collection of vintage-inspired racing gear. This collaboration with Honda Racing binds together the expertise of both companies and unites the two brands. The iconic collection features designs from 80s and 90s action and sportswear in a modern line of tops, racing jackets, and skirts. Forever 21 announced they were constantly looking for new and unexpected partnerships, so who who knows what we'll see in the future. Number 15. Don Cheng was named as a prestigious Los Angeles Eddie Award honoree. As a Los Angeles Eddie Award honoree, Don Chang was presented with his award by the Los Angeles County Economic Development Corporation in recognition to enhance and support opportunities for strong business leaders within the community. One of the most important reasons why Don was selected to receive this award is because he continually uses his wealth and power to give back to the community he lives in. The Eddie Awards included a cocktail reception, dinner and presentation at the awards gala on November 10th, 2010 at the Beverly Hilton. Well, Alexers, that wraps up our list on the 15 things you didn't know about Don Chang. Now that you've learned some more about his success story, we'd love to know. Do you think his fashion empire will be able to continue for generations to come? Let us know what you think in the comments. And for sticking with us all the way to the end, of course, you get a bonus. Here it is. Number 16. Don Chang and Jin Suk are Christians, which is why John 316 is on the bottom of every bag. As a born-again Christian, Don Chang is an active member of his church along with his family. He supported many missionary missions and Christian charities. One of Don Chang's biggest goals over the years and during many periods of economic recession in America was to be able to provide more jobs to people. Today, he feels he has met that mark by providing jobs for over 30,000 employees worldwide. Because of his strong faith and mission, Don Chang chose to print the Bible verse John 316 on the bottom of every bag. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.